Katia Physical and Virtual Prototyper. Reverse Engineering Workflow Acceleration is based on customers' requirements in production. To introduce this topic, have a look at the three reverse engineering existing methodologies on the market. There are two manual methods and one automatic. The first manual method, mostly dedicated to mechanical parts, is named Surface-Based Workflow or Untrim Approach. After a scan of the data and a zone segmentation, you can get the basic shapes and features based on automatic recognition. Continue in trimming surfaces and can add fillets. The second manual methodology, named Curve-Based Workflow, or network approach, is mostly for freeform shapes and generates class B surfaces with at best a tangency continuity. The automatic method is dedicated for artistic and organic freeform shapes can also be used for terrain modeling at a larger scale. These methodologies were already available through CATIA V5 capabilities. 3D Experience CATIA introduces a new user experience to increase productivity, enlarge the reconstruction scope, and favor process predictability. 3D Experience CATIA automates the mesh to surface process as much as possible and keeps it under your control at any time. Today, scanning device costs has become relatively affordable with great accuracy. For instance, in this video, We've been digitizing blue car by hand and quickly got a mesh with exceptional precision. Since our 2015X release, using a neutral .stl format, CATIA could select and remove unnecessary elements, like the table in this case, with a semi-automated cleaning process. Selection can be made manually or in an automatic mode to accelerate this data preparation phase. Since 16X and 17X, 3D Experience CATIA introduces a new curve network preparation command for even better productivity to draw curves on a mesh. At this stage, it's mandatory to be precise in the curves definition to reach a high quality surface afterwards. Draw fillet ribbon lines and connect them together. The connector works between two, three, and even four ribbons. Any created curve is easy to manage and to make it fit the mesh at the expected tolerance level. The Curve on Mesh tool has completely been reworked and simplified with adapted tools inside the wizard, like checking the curvature, the mathematics, and is able to reach a very high level of curve quality, whatever the mesh quality itself is. The result is an associative patchwork wireframe that you can provide to tools like Curve Network and Surface Network. The new command, Mesh Shape Analysis, is introduced in 3D Experience CATIA in R2018X to boost your productivity for mesh to Class B process. It's a simple and productive way to segment mesh with colored zones according to curvature change. The manual edition allows splitting or merging areas together with a visual assistance. This new capability is also integrated in the Curve Network Preparation command for even better productivity, helping you position curves. The objective is twofold, segment in zones and better understand the shape from the mesh. The import as file workflow has been improved to reduce the number of clicks during this step. As a reminder, drag and drop is the easiest way to import a file. In terms of packaging, the CATIA Engineering IP Control application is now available in the virtual and physical prototyper role. This improves the 3D printing preparation process. Starting with a product to part operation, 3D printing of assemblies is simplified in this data preparation workflow. Mm -hmm. 